Our next guest is super talented, former ballet dancer, making it big in Hollywood. You may have seen her on Mad Men, but now she's out in a brand new movie, Atlas Shrugged. It's the third installment in the final. We got a chance to sit down with her, and I asked her if she even had time to read the book. One thing is, if you, did you make it through the book itself? I did. I did, but I needed a little help from the audiobooks. I have to say, there were I some you chapters I. Cliff notes, which oh. I would have been in. <laughs> well, they actually printed me. The producers of the film printed me in large print. I think just so that I could read it like I was reading a script, the whole book. So it was like this big, kind of. Um, and so I would read at home, and then when I was in my car, I would listen. I would go to the chapter where I was, and listen on the audiobook, and then keep reading, and then, you know, make my now notes when I needed the to. Question: You're married, two kids. Were the kids in the back listening to Atlas Shrug when mom was driving around <laughs> on her errands? I think, <laughs> kids must more. I think I recall my three-year-old saying, Mama, not that. Mama, play Raffi or something. Oh, so. <laughs> so let's talk about the, the I call her, is she, is she, can we call her the heroine of the movie? She is the heroine of the movie. She's, she's Ayn Rand's it's famous like heroine. It's like you all these dudes. Absolutely, which was great for me as an actress too because I was surrounded with all these great actors and um, just the talent and the fun that we had was so much, it was so great. You're in your trailer, you come in as mom, yeah. you're like, hey kids, see you in a little bit, you go yeah. in as mom. How do you work through the ability to transform from mom into yeah. heroine? Well, you have the great time that you have in the makeup trailer, which is usually either quiet or there's music or whatever's going on. You can remember your lines, you can make sure you've got them, you, you have at least, a for a, a woman at least. Is it people all doing all that? It's, it is lovely, it's wonderful. I have to say, I love that I can go to work in the morning without having to do it myself because I'm not very good at it and I find it very time consuming to sort of do all the prepping. So it is definitely a pleasure to have other people do it. Of the roles you play, what do you think your husband would say is your favorite? His favorite. Ooh, his favorite, oh my gosh. I'm not sure. Maybe Which it would be Mad one? Men. Oh, because you came home looking like that? Maybe it would be Mad Men, yeah, because I came home with the false hey, eyelashes and the whole beehive. Oh my yeah. gosh. That's great. Well, let's stay with Atlas Shrugged. It's the, the ending. Is there a scene in there you're particularly excited to see yourself? Yeah, I haven't seen the film yet. So, um, I, well, there's a love scene that's a a little bit racy that I'm a little frightened, not frightened, but I'm, I'm interested to see it. I'm very interested to see it because it's a love story essentially between John Galt and Dagny. So, um, yeah. Well, that's and, not a bad kind of scene to be in. John's pretty awesome. No, John's pretty awesome. <laughs> Christopher Palaha, yeah, he's pretty awesome. Did he ever go, uh, let's do that again? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think in, in essence, when you're doing it several times, once once they say we've got it, both of us were happy that it was oh. done. <laughs> and then of course your husband's really happy that that scene has <laughs> moved on. Uh, any last, oh, not any last words, but let us ask this question. Given your tremendous success, what advice would you give to others living out their dreams? I would just absolutely say, don't give up, keep working, find a way to make your dream come true. And if you believe in yourself, it will. Well, we're glad you believed in yourself because we get to enjoy it in so many different roles, including Atlas Shrugged, September 12th, coming out with this beautiful, dynamic woman, Laura Regan. Thanks so much. We'll be right back.